PCB Electronic Components Dismantling Machine PCB Electronic Components Dismantling Machine is used to separate the electronic components from all kinds of printed circuit boards, such as computer boards, cell phone boards, TV boards, etc. Why remove electronic components from circuit boards? When extracting the metal in the waste circuit board, the electronic components on the waste circuit board should be disassembled first. On the one hand, impurities can be removed, and on the other hand, the electronic components can be recycled and reused. The specific process is to put the waste circuit board into the dismantling machine for high temperature heating, and the tin removal and disassembly can be completed in one step. The advantage is that it can reduce the damage of components and the loss of precious metals. Besides, because some electronic components contain precious metals, such as gold, silver, palladium, etc., they can be further refined and reused in advance, and some may contain harmful substances, which require special treatment. As for naked PCB motherboards, they are mainly composed of copper and resin powder, which can be recycled with our circuit board's recycling machine to get copper powder and resin powder. Flurry Equipment 1. Flue Gas Treatment Equipment 2. Electronic Components Magnetic Separator 3. Electronic Component Screening Machine Electronic component screening machine can automatically classify the size of the disassembled electronic components for further reuse. The electronic component screening machine mainly screens according to the size of the electronic components. When the motor is synchronously and reversely rotated, the exciting force generated by the eccentric block cancels each other in a direction parallel to the motor axis, in a direction perpendicular to the motor axis. The stack is a combined force, so the movement of the sieve machine is a straight line. The motor shaft has an inclination angle with respect to the screen surface. Under the combined force of the excitation force and the material self-gravity, the material is thrown up and jumped forward in a linear motion on the screen surface, thereby achieving the purpose of screening and classifying the material.